it's not always enjoyable to go look for my cell phone or log into my computer so I can access the web portal. This is an old HTC Nexus 9, and I'm gonna show you how I installed the Clipper screen on this so that I can now control my printer. The installation of Clipper screen is actually super easy if you're using Kua. I think it's option one, choose to install, and then seven is Clipper screen. Then it goes through a few options. You just hit enter, choose all the defaults, and you're good to go. The one hiccup that I ran into because I had SSH into my Raspberry Pi, there is some network configuration that it does, and that kicked me off. I just ended up waiting like five minutes and then trying to reconnect, and then I checked via Kua, and it showed the Clipper screen was installed. So it wasn't a major deal. Next, I had to install Tiger VNC. So there's a couple of different options if you're gonna be using a tablet on how you can connect to Clipper Screen. You can either connect via a VNC client, which is basically a remote desktop client, or you could use something called XServer XSDL. What XServer XSDL is, is it allows users to stream a GUI from a remote Linux device to an Android tablet. Nobody really says why it's not on the Play Store anymore. It could be that the developer was just struggling to keep it maintained with later Android versions. There is a bug with the X server version, though, where when Clipper screen is off or when the tablet is off, Clipper screen starts taking memory. The memory leak that exists isn't on the tablet side. It's on the device that's running Clipper screen. This is the same device that's controlling your printers. Even the developer of Clipper Screen recommends using VNC. So I went the VNC route and installed Tiger VNC on my Raspberry Pi. If you go this route as well, the next step is just to configure the launch script. They have it right there in the documentation for you. So I just used Vim, created the launch config, and copied everything into it and restarted Clipper. And it was pretty seamless to get that set up. Also in Moonraker, you have to configure the trusted client. So I went to main sale, went to my printer's config and looked at Moonraker. And Moonraker actually already had ciders for my network. So I didn't have to worry about it. I don't recall ever putting those in there. Maybe I did, uh, but anyway, they were there. The other thing I had to throw into Moonraker was my update manager for Clipper screen. Uh, and I just used exactly what was in the documentation, copied and pasted that right into Moonraker config. And it looks like everything's working fine. One other additional step that I did, and you probably wouldn't have to do this unless you're trying to control multiple printers with your Clipper screen. There's a Clipper screen config file, and I went ahead and edited that and gave it both IP address and ports for both my printers running Clipper, and then selected a default in that. And that was a pretty easy configuration. And again, that's in the documentation. So the last thing I had to do was on my tablet, I installed BVNC. BVNC was just the only VNC app I could find on the App Store for this really old tablet. And once I installed that, I was able to put it, configure it, put in the IP address of my printer, and connect immediately. I did have to adjust the scaling and tell it to just go to full screen. It was in some weird zoom mode that would prevent me from scrolling. So once I adjusted that scaling, it was done. Was Clipper screen worth it? The answer for me is no. Let me tell you why. I wanted something that was very fast, made it very easy for me to connect, to see what the status of my print was, stop a print, make adjustments if I needed to, things like that. Something that was faster than me grabbing my cell phone and connecting to main sale. And the reality is this tablet running Clipper screen is almost exactly the same. So it doesn't speed anything up. It doesn't make anything better. And honestly, Clipper screen, the navigation, at least in the default configuration, it has more clicks to get where I need to go than main sale on a cell phone. I think Clipper screen is really, really cool. And I want to explore it more, but I think I'm going to spend just a few bucks and get a touchscreen tablet and see if that improves my experience running Clipper screen. Because right now running a tablet, it just wasn't worth it. Are you running Clipper screen? Are you running it on a tablet? Are you using X server? Let me know in the comments below. What's your experience? What do you think? I got some really nice comments in the last video that gave me some great ideas for future projects that I can continue making tweaks and advancing my knowledge in this great hobby. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.